Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Marin County, Indiana at the prosecutor's office where the frauditor known as Wanda Mize, uh, well, he just wants to fill out a uh, FOIA request and he does for the next 45 minutes of the video. And then he turns into an insufferable moronic frauditor who wants to uh, throw his weight around, says that he owns the place, and uh, ends up uh, getting himself arrested for his trouble. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. How you doing? Do you have a public record request form? <coughs> For public records? Let's write it out on a blank piece of paper. Now, why would you uh, waste the uh, space on your memory card for this? I mean, for the next 45 minutes or so, he films himself out writing out the uh, request. I mean, this is dead air at its finest. So, you know what? I'm going to edit out all this fantastic journalism that this moron has put out. And, uh, well, we'll get to the part where he, uh, turns into a, uh, well, moronic frauditor who thinks he's entitled to be the king of everything. So, let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I get a stamp copy of these? A stamp copy? Yeah. Or if you could just initial it and make a copy and hand it back to me. All right, I'm just trying to get some background information on uh, everybody involved in my court cases. Okay. And uh, some background on some prosecutors and some prior electromizing. All right, uh, I'll be right back. Well, I'll be honest with you. At this point, there's another 15 minutes of dead air or roughly that. So, yeah, uh, this dude it must be the king of dead air because he really takes a long time to get to the point. I mean... Take some notes from the other frauditors like Joey Surreal Camera or others because at least they try to edit out the damn dead air and make their content a lot more interesting. Fifteen minutes later. I'm just looking around. Waiting on somebody downstairs. Yeah. I'm just looking around. Sir. No, I'm good. I'm just looking around. What are you looking around for? To check the building out. Huh? Just to look at it and see. Uh, I'm sorry. Just to look at it and see what's going on. Sir, you can't take pictures in here. Yeah, I can take pictures in here. It's a public area. 
Well, Willie's about to find out that this building is apparently privately owned and uh, does have its own set of rules for uh, recording in these offices. So, But he's not going to listen to them. He's just going to believe that he has the absolute right to film in here because of reasons. But the administrators of the building are not going to take too kindly to a man who thinks he owns the building when he hasn't actually put any money into it. I mean, the prosecutor's office should know, <coughs> should know that, right? <clears throat> or not? Maybe they don't know. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. Take note of this sign right here, because he is about to use it in perhaps what is one of the dumbest arguments to not be trespassed from a building that I have ever seen. So, take a mental note of it, and we will move on and watch the fun start. Look at that. Sir, this is a privately owned building. No, it's not. Get out of here. It's not a city building. It's owned by I don't a care. The state, the, the, police. the state leases it. So how is it private? The state doesn't lease it. What's it say right here? Please do not allow children to stand on the tables or chairs. It's public. Yeah, like I said, one of the dumbest arguments I, I have ever heard. Just because an area welcomes children doesn't mean it's open to everybody. In fact, you can find some uh, buildings that are closed off to the public that do have daycares in them for their employees. Does that mean that the restrictions off the building are totally null and void? Of course not, you freaking moron. No, Go on. It's not a public building. Go on. Pull upstairs. It's a Marion County Prosecutor's Office. We rent. It, yes. Dude, yeah. We the pub. Who pay. pays for it? You. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. Exactly. Just so call it's, upstairs. It's and not private. Get a grand jury officer down here to escort him out. If they escort me out, it's going to be by a lawsuit because I'll sue you. What's your name? Bob. Bob. Mm -hmm. You ought to do better, Bob. Not too bad. You're I'm a public Bob. servant, Bob. Well, you don't pay my taxes, okay? I, I don't. You don't pay your taxes either. No. I do. Oh, so you do pay his taxes? I mean, that's rather convenient for him. I mean, I'm sure he's got some rather major taxes that he has to pay with his salary. And I'm sure you could not afford to pay what he pays on an annual basis. Believe me, I, he makes a lot more than you ever will. Yeah. Can I get a business card for all the prosecutors in this department? Pardon? A business card for all the prosecutors oh. in this department? Nope. So you're denying me public service? I'm not denying you public service. You said you're not going to get them for me, right? No, Th I'm not going to walk around and get everyone's business cards. Well, why not? Why should I? She probably has them right there on that list. What have you done for me? Uh, paid for your living? Help you raise your kids? Pay for your house? Your car? Your groceries? I, pay for my house. I paid for your whole life, buddy. Really, dude? You paid that much into taxes that you were able to pay for his house totally, pay for his car totally, and be able to contribute 100% of the money to uh, raising his children? Uh, yeah. Uh, how is that possible, dude? I didn't. I'm a taxpayer. I've been a taxpayer my whole life. Where were you when I was 18 years old? <laughs> I wasn't your daddy yet. It's when you got this job, it's when I became your daddy. Bullshit! Bullshit! Uh -huh. Talk. 
Wow. What is it with you guys and your disdain for the public? Um, you got a camera right there. Oh, now we got a giant man-child crybaby frauder right here who thinks he's being persecuted. Dude, you are a member of the public, and they don't treat all members of the public this way. They just uh, don't like people like you who like to throw their weight around thinking they're all big and bad and uh, when well they're really nothing at all nothing but ignorant little man-child babies that want to uh, throw a tantrum when they don't get their way poor little guy why don't you go home and cry to your mama and get, she'll give you some warm milk and chocolate chip cookies and maybe let you cry into your pillow tonight It's a public area. I've got every right to video in a public area. Uh, yeah, so which one of you guys come out here and read these little kid books? That's all right. If they come down and trespass me out of the building, I'm going to hold the prosecutors off that's liable. For deprivation of rights. Oh my goodness, deprivation of rights under color of law. You do realize that's civil rights? Uh, that's not going to help you out in this situation? I mean, it doesn't exactly work out in court for you morons. So why don't you try it uh, where it might actually work in a, in a place that doesn't know the law? Like a bar full of frauditors who are trying to uh, organize a mass audit or something like that? I mean, it may work on them, but not in a prosecutor's office. If you guys willfully and knowingly violate the Constitution, then you're absolutely held liable to it. We all have laws we have to follow. It's a, section, it's a 1983 Section 241-242 violation. Deprivation of rights under the color of law. It can be private all at once. The public pays for it, so it makes it public. What do you not understand about that? With whose money? And where do they get their budget from? Where does the money come from to pay you guys and pay for this building? The people, right? The people, yeah. Public building. It's plain common sense. Do you have any, Bob? No, you don't, Bob. In fact, Bob, you make us look bad. No, you do that on your own. No, you do that on your own. I'm going to make you my thumbnail, Bob. <laughs> you think it's funny, Bob, but, funny. but when the people hold you accountable, it won't be funny, will it, Bob? I when I hold you accountable, it won't be funny, Bob. Yeah, Bob, I've got a bunch of U.S. District Court lawsuits going on. It won't hurt me a bit to add you and her to another. Mm -hmm. Bob. Yeah, 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 we're all scared of your fictitious lawsuits, dude. I just wonder if any of them are actually going to come to fruition or not, because, well, uh, a lot of your frauding uh, buddies try this tactic all the time to scare people in uh, line to make them kiss their boots, but it doesn't actually work uh, most of the time. And in this particular occasion, well, you might have just... Uh, Screwed yourself over, dude. Many, many minutes later. How you doing? All right, how you doing? Good, good. How can we help you? I told them I didn't need any help. I'm just looking around. Okay, what for? To take, a look, take a look at the building. I don't care and stuff with information. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Do you have an appointment with anybody here? No. Do I need an appointment to be in a public building? Uh, yeah, you do. This one. This is not a public building. This is a privately owned building. Could you give me... Oh, <laughs> right here. Please do not allow children to stand on the tables or chairs. I don't often use this meme from Drawn Together, but I think in this particular scenario, this may definitely apply because he just used that really dumbass argument again. You are so lame. I'm not lame. Yes. Yes, you are. Please, Mom, please don't do that. Don't be mean to me. I'm not being mean to you. You're just too lame to see it. You don't know what I can do, what I'm gonna do, you don't know. You don't know what I'm gonna be. You don't know how good I have good things and you don't know it, and I'm gonna be something.
somebody and don't tell me I'm not. <laughs> it smells like weed. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, maybe you guys ought to quit smoking. Bag, sir? I saw you in the bag. <laughs> None of your business. Oh, okay. Uh, are you trying to go get arrested for trespass and disorderly? Trespassing on public property and disorderly for what? Defending myself? What did the lieutenant just tell you? This is not a public building. There's public offices inside a private building. Who pays for the building? Okay. Uh, not are you guys going to, are you guys trespassing me? Let's cut to the chase. Okay. Do you want to trust me? Let me get your name and badge number. It's time for you to. Let me get your name and badge number. Leave, sir. Let me get your name and badge number. It's time for you to leave. Sir. Dereliction? It's time for you to leave, sir. Name and badge number. Are you going to leave or are you going to jail? Your choice. Name and badge number. You can ask to leave. You can walk out. Are you, are you putting your hands on me? Well, you're you're putting your, your hands on me? That's assault. I want him arrested for assault. Sure. Right. I want him arrested for assault. I want him arrested for assault. Look at this. We're leaving out. Look at this. I'm going to sue every one of you guys. I'm going to sue every one of you. You can't trespass me from a public building. This is not a public it building. is a public building. Who pays for it? 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 Well, answer it. Who pays for it? Well, if you'd be quiet for 10 seconds, I'll answer that. Well, if this you'd answer building, it. Okay. You're not going to listen. I'm not going to answer your Answer it. Who pays I, for it? I have more discussions with a three-year-old right Who now. pays for it? Yeah, me too. This building is leased. Uh, leased? space. Not just yeah, leased. It doesn't matter. Doesn't it's leased control. by the public. Okay. So you can't trust me? Yeah, okay. exactly. When okay. I'm in my bags over here, my bags back. over here, clown. Oh, my bags over here. Know. You assault her. You assault her. I want him business. arrested for assault. We're bringing up. I'm handling business. No, I got business with the prosecutor. No I got business with no, the prosecutor. I'm waiting on a supervisor. We asked I'm waiting on a supervisor. You wasn't. Yeah, go ask her. Go ask her, finally. Well, stupid is as stupid does, and uh, well, Wanda Mize has to be one of the dumber ones out there. Not the dumbest I've seen, but certainly up there with stupidity. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?